Hi guys, um, right before Christmas I asked for a carving knife for my present. I've been eyeballing the flex cut carving jack. It's got a score and a gouge and straight chisel and a v-notch and a carving knife on it. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I've been playing with it about a week. First thing I did is go on the internet did simple whittling projects. There's a little owl out there. Um, so I want to show you how to do that. This is something you can keep a little piece of basswood in your pocket, pull it out in front of a kid, pull your knife out, whittle him something, hand it to him, and they'll probably put it on a shelf and keep it forever. Now the basswood, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches long. Got a line, draw it all the way around it, and a little short line down here at the bottom. Right, first thing we want to do, take our whittling knife, and with whittling, it ain't got to be exact. Just get generally close I can see my last cut from there so I'm just trying to match them up find your face which side you like and I'm twisting up trying to get a little bit of angle on the top Using my thumb to push. I'm just looking at the top, trying to even it out. I left a little bit here. Stop cut. That's for his beak. And that's the most tender part and vital part. A little V notch. And we go down here on the bottom and we do it. Simple whittling. If you're working on bigger pieces, Twist the piece in the wood to the knife instead of the knife when you've got a lot of action when your knife is when you're apt to really cut yourself. Let's put a little stop cut there. Be real careful with that beak. As a little stop cut. And take your knife, feel the grain, which way it's going. Cut his belly. Okay. And let's do the same thing on the back. Well, we got a little stop cut here and let's give him some wings. Be real careful right here, that's easy to break off. I'm going to do the other side. And now, let's just bob his old ears off there a little bit. Get the way your lines are going. Just cutting a little beak in there. Well, guys, I'm doing this quickly so you get the gist of it. i get out my little gouge here. And we'll whip him out an eye. Another eye. We'll just take randomly, push in, lean up, push in, lean up, push in, lean, and there you have a little owl. Hmm? 
like I say, that, that was my first one. And I played around a little bit more. And I got online, started looking around. I looked at faces. And I put an old man on one of my canes and wrapped his beard all the way around the cane. Played a little bit more with faces. Then I spent about four days. And I'll put a link showing this guy's site, Scott's Carvings. He's great. I took a piece of paper and a blank. Some exotic Asian carving stuff. Got me an owl out. After I carved that owl out, I carved my owl. Put him on a nest. And then made a... Ch These are cheap. They're five, six bucks at Walmart. Get a glove. Protect that thumb. As always, man, thanks. Have a happy 2016. I hope everybody's year is good. No problems, no worries. I hope you're well, your family's well. Life and love. Y'all have a good one. Bye.